Detonation after detonation breaks the tranquil surroundings at the former Central Impact Area at the Camp Edwards Army National Guard training site located on Joint Base Cape Cod. As part of the uh, dec decision document for the Central Impact Area, the EPA required that we remove uh, UXO from the impact area. They consider it a future source of groundwater contamination because over time the uh, casings on the UXO can corrode and release the RDX filler to the environment and ultimately to the groundwater. The UXO, or unexploded ordnance, is recovered for disposal by contractors working for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers by Fire in the hole! detonating it in a controlled manner. The original way it was being removed, detonating in place, however, it became too costly. And when we were destroying them, we were doing a consolidated shot. Uh, we have a big hole, we put the UXOs in it, we put some sandbags on it, and then we would, we would destroy them. And then the EPA mandated us to do the cleanup of this contaminated soil around that. And it would cost us on average a quarter of a million dollars per consolidated shot. The quarter of a million dollars per shot is the cost to clean up the surrounding soils after a detonation. In order to prevent debris from being sprayed in a large radius around the shot, engineers decided to use a method called Buried Explosive Module, or BEM. BEM has been around for a long time. They're using it here more frequently now to help contain uh, munitions constituents, the residue left over at their, at their disposal. This module uses a system of Jersey barriers and a large amount of sand above and below the point of detonation to contain the blast and fallout into a confined space, so that a large area of land isn't exposed to the residue of the munitions. It's, it's better to contain that stuff, that way they can dispose of it properly instead of letting it leach into the ground. The system is more environmentally sensitive in that it doesn't allow residue to rain down on surrounding soil and contaminating it. And since the main reason for the removal of the ordinance is to protect the local drinking water supply, it ends up being more cost effective too, because the surrounding soil is no longer impacted and doesn't need to be removed, which would drive up costs. It's still very expensive to do what we're going to do, but we're, we're able to cut the cost down significantly. Unfortunately, you know, we're still going to look at millions of dollars over the next five years, but, you know, it's millions less than it would have been. The base has been ordered to remove up to 90% of the UXO in a 50-acre area in the impact zone, which means the BEM system will be employed many more times over the next few years in order to meet those removal requirements. From Joint Base Cape Cod, Massachusetts, Patrick Bloodgood.